Step three is mix and then put it in your hair. I don't really know if this is really right, but uh, my hairdresser said it's okay. So this is what I do when I don't go to the hairdresser. So you don't want to put a lot of oil in your hair um, and a lot of too much of that leave-in conditioner uh, to keep it light. Next is this. Here's my comb. You could use a smaller tooth comb, which would be ideal, but I didn't do it. So here is it in work in progress. I honestly don't know what I'm going to do when I begin. I just do it and it comes out nice. So. So we're gonna move on, and you want to follow your um, your head's natural uh, curl. Like um, if it's going in that direction or that direction, um, it's not the curl, but you know what I mean. I guess it's your hair's natural wave. I'm still trying to find out the name of that. You know, it's it's your hair's like natural wave, like the natural way that it sets and um, it goes, like your see it like it's like a spin you know what I mean so I'm gonna do the back in like one big section um, because this is just what I do is the quickest way for me um, and that's the whole point. It's like when I'm when I don't go to the hairdresser, this is how I do it for convenience, for speed. And you know, when you have a busy schedule, you just keep it going. So, so my hair's natural um, turn thing, it goes that way. So that's how I normally set it. I just go like that direction. So what is that counterclockwise? <laughs> So, this is how it looks. And you can see it's a work in progress. Um, I'm not sweating it too much because um, it has a natural way it's gonna fall. And when I like set it with my scarf, a few hours after it dries and sets, it's gonna fall a natural way. So you don't have to sweat too much over that. If you're gonna do your hair at home like this, um, and as you can see too, there are some pieces that are sticking up, right? You see that? You see those those pieces sticking up? So I'm gonna do um, what I'm gonna do is get some more mousse and go over it with my finger and press it down, and it's gonna stay. Okay, so three hours have passed. This is how it came out. There are some little pieces still sticking up. However, I'm not sweating it because again, when I lay it down, when I lay it down a little faithful here, it's gonna be okay. So this is the finished product and this is how I do my hair. Thanks for watching. And have you been thinking about something you've been wanting to do lately uh, that you've been inspired and motivated to do? Can I tell you this? just do it some things have been given specifically to you by god to do to break cycles so when you do it your obedience pleases him and he begins to bring your way his blessing that he had in mind god is for you god is for you